Welcome to my channel, it's Crafting on a Budget, and I want to share with you guys a project that Brianna and I have been working on for the past couple weeks. First of all, um, it's been a slow process. <laughs> we purchased this um, frame, it was 50 cents. We spray painted it with the 96 cent can, the spray paint from Walmart, and we kind of like the way it turned out. I mean, it, it took a little bit to dry, um, but I think it was just the humidity that day was not so great. And then I got these little picks from Michaels. They're little legs, and I thought, you know what? What if, and they were originally, 50% um, off $5 so I paid $2.50 for them and plus I had an additional 20% off coupon so you guys do the math didn't pay too much so I got these picks yes the colors are not matching I wanted her not to have matching legs because she's a crazy little witch her head was 50% off $6 which is three bucks and I had an additional I bought it all the same day had an additional 20% coupon so we grabbed these I thought you know what I saw one that they had at Michael's and it was fairly simple and I thought you know what we can spruce up that one and call it a day and so I got this because I could put it like you can't see it I know gosh camera angle I need to do something about this I keep saying it I moved it and so you can get a better zoom but then I can't get the whole picture because of the way where the, the camera is I had to bring it down so 50 cents and 250 each for the legs so a total of five minus the 20 percent and three dollars minus the 20 percent and we found this Dollar Tree plaque that was perfect. Join our Black Hat Society. Right? And so I thought we can lay this down like so. And this is a fairly quick and easy tutorial. It's not very hard to make this. All you do is paint your frame, get the pick, attach the pick to the frame, and voila, you have yourself a wall hanging that looks like the witch coming on the frame so guys very easy I'm just going to now probably snip this off recycle this somehow or another so under ten dollars I got this this because the one at Michael's fairly small little plaque she's holding and she's got her legs and I thought oh how cute so I thought immediately we need to do this so let me find where my little there it is my little clip in the back so that's gonna go like that and I was trying to make sure it made good contact with the wood and it probably isn't other than on the top and the bottom so that's probably as far as it's going to go as far as it getting good contact with the bottom frame because it's not wide enough see but it's I thought I thought it's pretty and actually what I want to do is I want to take some of that rub that young Sue sent me and go around that frame. I'm gonna use the ice espresso. Y'all know I love this stuff. So we're just gonna go around the frame. Ooh, yeah. Talk about making it pop. And so I think if you just do it that way, then you can, if you want to use a frame for another project, maybe next year, you can do that. Ooh, yes. You see the excitement in my voice? It's 
what I love about open frames and wood frames. I'm so obsessed with them. And so whenever I see them on sale at a uh, thrift store, less than a buck, I snag those babies. Eric thinks I'm crazy. But you can do a lot of things with frames, especially when they're wood. Wipe on, wipe off, wipe on, wipe off. If you make a mistake, great thing about this uh, Deco Art metallic rub is that you can go back in and wipe it with a baby wipe. Make sure you do that before it dries and sets. When I'm doing the inside, I know that I am not, it's not going to be seen, but if in the event I decide to, you know, recycle this frame for another project after the holidays, I can, and use it for something else using the same black frame, just removing the glue adhesive, so it's a good thing about finding these great frames that are just so pretty and I love this frame. This frame was so beautiful. I always look for frames that has a lot of details in it. Just gives it a nice eye catching. So now we're good to go. My fingers are all yucky. And So she is going to sit right there on the top. So I'm going to glue her down and I'm just going to use my hot glue. It's just a lot easier and quicker. to the back and just kind of glue her down a little bit. Okay. Sorry guys again. So I'm gonna let that sit. And I should have cut down a little bit of this wire, but I didn't want to cut it down because in the event that I use this for another future project. I can just remove this glue with some undo or goo gone and reuse this pick. So it could be a seasonal sign, you know. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to hit globs of glue here and there and everywhere. We're going to do the same thing for her shoes before I have to put pressure on this. So sexy legs here, we're going to um, attach it like that and we're also not going to cut the picks because as I said before, we want to reuse this in the any future projects that, you know, I decide I want to change this up next year because you know we always do that we always change things around so I'm just going to go on the bottom in the middle to anchor it and this is where the octopus hands would be or the arms would be handy but that's just not possible not possible Holding it in place just for a little bit because I only have two hands and 
Hadi's not here to help, and neither is Brianna. They went to watch a movie. So, all right, guys, I need to remind you guys if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it's really appreciated if you do that. Also, in the descriptions below, you will see my Amazon affiliated links. Please click on those if there's something there that uh, draws your interest. Purchase from my links, guys. And also, guys, you guys know I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so your support helps me be able to buy this stuff to be able to create projects and videos for you guys. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't work outside my house because I'm a full-time student and so every little bit helps so I'm not crying the boohoo I'm just saying if you guys can and you think about it swing on over to my description see if there's anything there that you might need from your Amazon click on those put it in your cart check out because every little bit helps and it replenishes my supply also if you're out looking for awesome stamps or ink pads take a look at my Stampin' Up! online store. It's craftingonabudget.stampinup.net and they just released their holiday catalog and it's full of all kinds of awesome stuff. So check those out guys. I really appreciate if you guys support me in that sense and every little bit helps. It sure does. So it looks like it kind of somewhat this one's a little bit not so dry. But even if I did it this way, I think she's stinking cute. I'm going to flip her here in a little bit, but it's still, I can still see that that is not fully dried. Um, you can also, if you find a little tutu, and I did find a tutu bus for another project. Hate to say this, but there's another project with legs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a witch head. Oh yeah, I found a tutu, so we're going to do another project. So. Okay, so see, even if you wanted to hang her just like that, isn't she darling? I think she's adorable. And she deserves an award. We are going to, I think that was kind of yucky, so we're going to probably put something there to, it just doesn't go with the flow of everything else. Okay, so we are going to do this. Hopefully it will adhere. I'm trying to make sure I don't ruin her little tool there. And you guys probably can't see. I'm out of focus. I know. So it looks like I am going to be hitting right where um, the picks are. And I didn't want to cut those picks. And I know I could have, could have, would have, should have. But here's the thing. I want to recycle this for future projects. And if I cut those then I won't be able to use them. So right on top of those is where I'm going to glue this down to my frame and hopefully make good contact. And if I want to reuse this in the near future for something else, I can remove her from her position and hopefully I'm making good contact. I'm gonna flip this around so I can see what's going on here and where it's making the contact. It doesn't look like I hit it on the top here. I'm getting it at the bottom, but not at the top. So we might have to make some minor tweaks here and there. Oh, there we go, a little bit. Ooh, yeah, we don't want to crooked make that crooked absolutely not uh-uh girl doesn't like crooked these are kind of smoothing because I re-glued that bottom base pressure here and I think 
think this is really cute. I am, like I said, I'm going to find something to put here. And I'm just putting some pressure. And I might go in here, right where this little point is, put a little bit of glue there and there. And hopefully I will get it. And then in the future, if I want to reuse this frame, I can. And I am. Just so you guys know, I am going to use it because I like this frame. I thought it was really pretty. Um, but Brianna thought it was great for this project. And so, you know, Mama has to do what her baby wants. So, put pressure there, pressure here, hold that down, and hopefully we have a frame that's functional in some sort of a sense. down here to the ground and see here where I need to maybe uh, anchor this ear a little bit and of course if you're at home you're probably going to want to find a frame that will work for you I just kind of had this one and Brianna liked it for this project so we decided to go with this one Last year we were supposed to make something like this and things just didn't work out and I told her this year I promised her that I would do it. Put a little bit here. Glue that down. Alright. I'm going to go grab something for here because I don't like so you guys know I like to use things that has been given to me and Young Sue had sent me the this here um, it's a 3d sticker paper house it's pretty cool look at that it's a 3d it's actually three actual layers that is so stinking cute and I thought you know what you know it is the society and it came with this um, little moon and that has like a, um, what do you call those things? Uh, can't think of it what it's called, but y'all know I'm just short-minded. But I thought, you know what, we could put that like that. It won't do too much of a coverage of the letters and stuff. I thought that would be fine. And it is a society and we're welcoming everyone there. So I thought, that looked perfect so we're gonna go with that thank you young sue for gifting me that you're always thinking about me and sending me some yummy stuff so we're gonna go with it guys and of course my bats are kind of going the wrong direction i think i kind of needed to go a little bit higher on that I know that we're going to glue here, here, and around here, and maybe some here. I don't want to glue too much of it. It's going to stick outside the frame. That's fine. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. So the bats are flying in to the society the witch society I think they did a great job with these um, Dollar Tree frames I think they kind of failed on that one with that little whatever it was but isn't that stinking adorable I just have um, what I say uh, two fifty five dollars and three that's eight dollars minus twenty percent a dollar for uh, the frame and what is 20% of eight dollars eight dollars times 20% is a dollar sixty so it is um, 740 no 640 let me see hold on my math is bad 640 I was right 640 
for the head and the two legs and the sign is a dollar so that's 740 young sue gifted me this i don't know what she paid for it and the frame was 50 cents so i have uh 740 and 50 so 790 less than ten dollars right here and i'm pretty sure the one that was at michael's was i think 24 dollars and it was a tiny little puny little sign like that and she had her legs sticking out and definitely um did not look like it was worth 24 dollars so i am loving my little thing here i am probably going to stick a rope and hang it because I don't like I got this twine sitting here on my desk so let's put a rope in the back how's that uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think I need to work on her leg her leg is kind of flapping she's a flapper she's a flapper guys sure where she is just not wanting to oh you know what she's coming undone from her base that's why well we're not gonna have that young lady you are not gonna go anywhere not anymore we just glued you down okay so we're just gonna grab I'm gonna make a knot on each end On each side of that, I'm just going to hang it. Brianna Shirley's going to be surprised that Mommy knocked out some of her projects. And Mommy needs to do her homework. So I think I'm going to take pictures afterwards. I'm going to let that dry up. And you guys will see the end result hanging on my wall. Till next time, guys. Be safe, be well, and God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share it. Like. Comment. Don't forget once a month i'm selecting someone to get something that i've created that will fit in a flat rate small envelope and you don't know it might be you so starting october i will select the first winner and after that every now and then i might just randomly select somebody just to do something special for you guys so please guys i ask you to share like comment and if you have anything that you want for my stampin up store if you want to host a party let me know i will be more than happy to accommodate you in that till next time guys be safe be well and god bless bye bye